the racing minister says there is a tide of public opinion against jumps racing and the time has come to consider a ban. But the state's top thoroughbred racing official has warned such a ban would spell the end of the Oakbank Easter Racing Carnival. No falls today as two jumps races were run and won. No applause outside the track. There is no excuse for animal abuse. Protesters picketing the picnic race meet, calling for a ban on jumps. It's just time that uh, jumps racing was banned. This sort of cruelty shouldn't be allowed anymore. And lawmakers apparently starting to listen. I don't see that uh, the majority of South Australians are in favour of jumps racing, so I suggest we have a, uh, a good look at uh, you know, the future of jumps racing and whether we ban it in South Australia, as it has been in every other state except uh, Victoria. Thoroughbred Racing SA warning a ban would have dire consequences for a great South Australian event. Oak Bank will die if there's no jumps racing, and I think tourism in the area will be significantly affected. The grey cloud over the event doing nothing to deter enthusiastic punters today, despite the weather, they relished the Easter Monday tradition. Early start, hot breakfast. Up at 4.30 cooking sausage rolls. While today's event saw the smallest crowd in nearly 10 years, the cold and rain didn't deter the fashionistas. Got the gum boots out, you know, yeah. nice and wet. <laughs> Even if it's raining, we would still be wearing this. It's very cold today and we're freezing, but we're still enjoying. And so too were the blokes who weren't going to let the wet weather rain on their parade. We've got the marquee set up over here, which is you know really good, and wearing the RMs, and this guy here has got the uh, boots on, he's ready to race. And Samantha Vardis is live at Oak Bank. Sam, we've just heard today's was the lowest crowd in nearly a decade. Do organisers believe the jumps racing controversy had an impact on that attendance? Well, Brenton, I spoke with organisers just a short time ago who says the jumps racing controversy has nothing to do with today's attendance. It was purely the weather. 13,000 people turned out here today. Now, that's half the amount that they were expecting given they had 35,000 here on Saturday. But given all this rain, Brenton, organisers say that they were impressed by the numbers, but also the fact that it was an incident-free day and a good one it was at that. Indeed. Thank you, Sam.